There's a little bit of play. Huh. Okay, so today's project is going to be uh, replacing the water pump. With the new one. Because um, this one is bad. You can tell this one is bad because it has play in it. See this play? This is not in the fan, or in the fan clutch, it's in the water pump. So, um, that's what I'm gonna be doing today, and I figure the best way to do that is to um, remove the radiator. It's gonna be the easiest, give me a lot more room to work in this little area right here from underneath. So, um, I'm going to remove my radiator, and right now I'm draining it. And so that's the first step to, if you wanna be proper about it, that's what I'm gonna do. It's because I don't want to ding it up I'm trying to get that off. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then after this is done draining, it's the four bolts one, two, three, four, four bolts that come off. And uh, obviously, your upper and lower radiator hoses need to uh, be unclamped when you do that. And then this just raises up, and it takes uh, about all of five to ten minutes to do. So, it might as well. It takes it and it's easy to do so yeah once it's done draining um, this hose that hose obviously it'd be nice for me to disconnect this right now so get it out of the way now that's disconnected um, yeah so um, water pump it's how you can change a water pump on a 22R this is an 84 this is the 81 to 84 block, but it uh, should be exactly the same for the 85 to 95 as well. So um, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so um, now the next step, now that the radiator's out, um, relatively easy. Next step is to get the fan clutch off, and the fan itself. Um, so there are four 10 millimeter nuts that come off. And uh, the new water pump comes with new studs, but it does not come with new nuts. So you're going to want to reuse those and uh, try not to lose them. So uh, that's the next thing. I decided to take this belt off because it's a little bit easier to get to the uh, the little nuts right there. So um, yeah, once that's off, then this belt will come off. And then I can start working on the water pump. Um, I'm looking to see if it's going to be a... I mean, I'm, I'm not thinking it's going to be too much of a pain in the ass to get up behind this this unit i'm hoping i don't have to take it off by taking it off i would have to fucking do everything dude so um yeah we'll see what's up but uh i'm to this point right now and i'm taking off the fan okay so now that the fan's off um i figured that it'd be good time to put the studs on the new one so i have those four you take two tens and you do the uh tighten together method because this one doesn't come with the studs installed. So I'm going to install them right now, take off the other one so that way this one's already ready to go, swap it in. So that's uh, exactly what I'm doing right now. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna start taking the water pump off. Uh, you, you can move this out of the way because of this slides so it's easy to access these bolts. And um, it's not too hard. I think that's the highest bolt and then you just get these ones. All tens, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, it looks like they're all 10s and then these look like 14s and maybe that's a 12 But um, what I did is I drew Drew something similar to it on there and then poked holes in it so that I don't lose the bolts and which ways they go because This one has about three different size bolts A um, couple that go through the uh, timing cover. I did I believe this one goes through the timing cover um, so Yeah, so you want to make sure that you have all the bolts correct I have to take these two off that go into the timing cover, so I'm actually compromising that seal. But what I'm going to do is, is that that's because I have to take this metal piece off. Um, yeah, so when I take this off, when I stick these two bolts back in, I'm going to take a little bit of um, RTV, black RTV, and uh, put it on the threads, and boom. So that when I put it back in there, it creates another seal. So, um, it looks like everything's okay down here. I don't see anything truly leaking. Um, not, not really. I don't see anything. 
So, um, yeah, I'm just going to get to it. Uh, it's ten, it looks like 10, 12, and 14. Well, obviously, if you, you, you might not have this. So, and like I said, this looks like a 12. It might not be. It might be a 10. But most of them are 10s. So, um, yeah, that's what you got to do. And then this just comes off, and um, you replace it with the new one. So I'll, well, I'll show you when I get to there. Okay, so um, now it's time to... Uh, Put the new one on this is the new one stud i had to use one of the other studs because i i don't know i was having a problem with the two bolt method on getting these things on and then not getting one of those bolts stuck on one of these uh studs so i just hand tightened them and then i figured you know what it's going to tighten them down that way anyway and if they come off whatever i don't care i can just use loctite next time or something okay so Obviously, I put all the bolts back most like pretty much all of them around the uh, perimeter are tens So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten it in that sequence I'm just gonna worry about the outer perimeter sequence and once those I feel are tightened then I'll immediately put these two in the These two let me see is that it, both of them. Okay. No just one of them this one. It's this one that goes straight through um, This one that's a part of this cover um, uh, I'd heard this bolt is the only one bolt that actually keeps the timing cover on its position. You can actually, that one bolt, and then I think the one that goes straight through the top where the, uh, if you take off the valve cover, that bolt as well. But, um, like, yeah, uh, I had heard that was it. But, um, anyway, I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, these are the bolt sequences. You can see the two bolts that weren't were involved but obviously yes so um, all three of these bolts that are a part of this will be getting um, black sealant on the tips all of these other bolts will be getting blue and I'm gonna be putting everybody you know people debate on whether to use sealant only sealant only freaking um, gasket or you know I me. Mean, I'm a person that uses both um, if you, yeah, can believe that, to each his own at this point in time. So basically you can put it back on the way you want it to. This is what I'm going to tell you I'm doing. I'm going to put blue sealant, use the blue sealant for this, and, um, put a light coat of blue sealant around, put all the bolts through, put the, uh, the gasket through onto that. Not all of them, just the outer perimeter ones at least. Um, put the gasket through on that and then put um, a light coat of blue RTV over the other side so that there's RTV gasket RTV I found that that works I've had a lot I've done a lot of gaskets and it seems like that's one of the ones that if you ever have a problem with gaskets that'll work but teach his own you know you can do whatever but um, I am going to put blue RTV around the bol the bolts as well like you know put a coat around the threads so that it seals and then when it comes time i'm going to do just the when it comes time to, to tightening it i'm just going to tighten the outer perimeter bolts um in sync in sequence across from each other and then once i feel that those are tight i'm going to immediately put in the other bolts the two middle ones right there um and then get those going obviously one will have the blue rtv and then the, this one right here goes straight through and it'll have the black RTV because that's going straight through the, uh, the water pump and not, yeah, it's not screwing in right there. So that needs to have a oil seal. Um, so yeah, and then obviously the last two bolts will go in. So if anything, when I put this bolt in, these two bolts in, I'll put these two just to hand tighten them down and then tighten those ones down and then get to these two. So, um, yeah. And then obviously those will get black sealant, those big bolts. And uh, we'll be done. And then I can just put the fan radiator back in and uh, Bob's your uncle, I guess you, uh, Steve-O would say. Um, yeah, sorry, friend of mine. Um, but yes, that is the complete uh, installation. So I'll get back to you when this is back on. Obviously, it's a good thing to draw your own thing and just poke holes out. Boom. There we go. So, uh, I'm going to put, put the sealant on right now, clean it off, put the sealant on, and then uh, it'll go back on. I'll tell you guys how it goes. 
Okay, I wanted to get this on film real quick. Okay, uh, this is the way I do it. I uh, coat it, slap the uh, gasket on, and then put the bolts up through. Obviously, the bolt holes got to line up. But anyway, <coughs> then I'm going to coat it again with that, the blue. And so that way, when I slide it on, with all the bolts in it, all the bolts will be already through the holes just sitting there um, with a gob of goop around it too. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's this is the way I do it. Um, that way you don't have to, you can torque it down to spec and you don't have to wait because um, if you just use regular gasket, gasket material, it tells you not to torque it down all the way. It tells you to torque it down half or, you know what I mean, not, not all the way and then come back sometime later on when it's dried up and made that bead and then torque it down the rest. I don't have patience. So this is the reason why I've chosen this method and it works for me, but to each his own. So I thought I'd show you it. All right. All right, here's the second layer. Bolts all covered um, with a little bit on the ends. Not too much, not gooped, but uh, they're covered. So this is gonna get slapped on and uh, those bolts tighten down in sequence. And then I'm gonna drive the, uh, the two. One's gonna get covered before I drive it, just like the others. And then the, the other one's gonna get, other three are gonna get oil, or the black. So uh, let's do this. Okay, yeah, so um, spinning the last, the last one, see how this one barely moves? This one's not really moving. Here, I'll show you the old one. see if I can show you but yeah it uh just basically spins on its own see how it just free freewheeling with barely my thumb you know yeah the bearings are shot on this one so uh yeah it didn't look like any of the blades are bad on it just the bearings shot you can see the gasket um I don't look it doesn't seem like he used a uh a sealant, but I did, and so um, you can see that everything's already on it and sealed. Obviously, these three bolts went straight through this, and so they received the black sealant and not the blue, because the black is for oil. And that's what the timing chain deals with. This is the water pump. Blue, I've learned, is for water resistant, so I put everything in blue on that one. So. Yeah, now, um, and obviously, you can see this one doesn't spin as easy, so that's a lot better. I had to use one um, stud because uh, I basically ruined another one trying to get it, uh, a bolt off, doing the bolt method. So all of these are just hand tightened. They'll eventually, like, if the bolt locks onto them, then that's cool once I get this on, because then I can just reuse those, you know, whatever. But, um, as for locking the bolt on before I get anything off of <laughs> on it is a different story so uh, yeah um, basically I thought I'd let everybody know that but uh, yeah so it's all gonna go together right now and um, yeah so the uh, fan attachment um, belts obviously um, I this is you know unhooked the positive on the uh, battery because that's always a must no matter what <laughs> that's always the first thing that they tell you on the uh the thing so um yeah you can kind of see it i'm not sure if that's a leak or not but whatever yeah it's on and it's done for so uh let's get it back together